Okay, I reached the limit. Again, these videos are taking longer and longer. Uh, so anyway, uh, so I'm still working on uh, wicking. Okay, I'm about done with that. I just want to check everything. Now, if you get a bird's eye view, uh, you see around the chimney is going to have to fit over the coils and over the uh, wick and screw down on there onto the platform. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, we're about ready to put the chimney on. You want to be mindful of the area below the coil where the uh, airflow hole is. You want that, you don't want it blocked with uh, cotton. That'll block the airflow. That won't be a good thing. And make sure that that's clear on either coil. Now, here's our chimney. Chimney. And we just want to carefully. with a uh, careful rotating movement uh, get it started to get the thread started Just want that to thread over top of the wick. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to check this on my ohm reader again to see to make sure that the coil isn't touching the inside of the chimney. Uh, else that would be a short. Okay, we got 0.76. Uh, again, I was shooting for a 0.8 build. Uh, that's pretty good. I, li I like that. I'm going to stick with that. Okay, so the wicking's done. Uh, okay, now we can go ahead and put our tank back together. Now, with any uh, e cigarette uh, parts or whatever, uh, atomizers, uh, mods, whatever, what have you. Uh, finger tight on everything is a general rule. Uh, you don't want to wrench down on anything really uh, good and tight because it'll lock up and you'll have a really hard time getting it apart again. So just try to keep that in mind. Finger tight. All right. So this is our build, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my e-juice in there. Uh, now you can, uh, you can fill this through uh, through the top if you prefer, but I I like uh, I like using the uh, syringe and uh, going through the bottom the way you know that it was designed for. Sometimes uh, feed, uh, filling it through the top, you you might end up getting uh, uh, flooding in the chimney area. I'm going to fill this up. Okay. Now I think uh, I didn't measure it out, but I think it's about approximately four milliliters that uh, that the atomizer will hold. Okay. Put my set screw, my fill hole plug screw 
in. a uh, built 0.76 ohm dual coil 28 gauge canthaw orchid build and in just a second I'll go ahead and film a uh, vapor production video for this hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something uh, check us check my group out on Facebook obsessive cotton disorder uh, for more information, it's community driven. Uh, for more information on uh, building with uh, atomizer builds with cotton. And uh, y'all have a great day, great evening, great morning, whatever. And vape on and vape strong. See you later.